Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team at our London site, and with me today is Luke Schulte, field agronomist for Ohio. Thanks for joining us. Today we're talking fungicide on soybeans. Luke, we've tested fungicide and insecticide on soybeans for a number of years in PFR, and what we've really found to be consistent in both giving us a positive advantage in yield and return on investment, investment has been that fungicide and insecticide application at that R3 window. So why is that timing of R3 so critical? Yeah, Jared, so keep in mind, most of our fungicides we use on soybeans today, they have a pretty wide window of application. The label states R2 to R4 for most of them. But what we found is that R3 is the sweet spot. So first and foremost, you gotta know what you're looking for. And so what we wanna do is we wanna focus on that main stem. So if we focus on the main stem and those top four nodes, one, two, three, four, with a fully developed trifoliate, we're looking for pod development. And overall, we're looking for about that 3 16 or quarter inch pod to know if we have 50% of the soybeans at that growth stage, we're at that R3 timing. And what we're really trying to do is protect the middle third of that plant. About two thirds of our yield comes from the middle third of that plant, nodes six through 13 approximately. When we make that R3 uh, fungicide application, we're protecting them nodes. We're protecting those trifoliates that actually feed that node or provide about 80% of the nutrition for that node. So now that we have our timing down and we specifically know when to apply, what should we apply? So we've tested quite a few products, but the three fungicides that are PFR proven and provide the most consistency are Preaxor, Preemptor, and Stratego Yield, along with that insecticide at R3 timing. That is what we've evaluated in the past, but we're looking at a few new things this coming year. Jared, what are we evaluating? So this year on soybeans, we got two brand new studies when it comes to that R3 time frame and fungicides. We're looking at time of day, so it doesn't matter whether we're spraying early morning with dew on the leaves and cooler temperatures versus late in the afternoon in the heat of the day. And the other study that we're looking at is our fungicide in terms of carrier rate. So when we're out there spraying with our ground rig, it doesn't matter if we're running 10, 15, or 20 gallons of water as our carrier rate. So that's just two new studies that we're trying to hone in this fungicide on soybeans a little bit better. So keep in mind as you're debating whether or not to apply a fungicide or not, there's lots and lots of factors that go into the equation. But what we found to provide the most consistency is when we hit that ult ultimate application timing of R3. So thanks for joining us today and if you got any questions either identifying that R3 growth stage or what product to apply, feel free to reach out to your BEX representative.